Welcome to today's lecture on cell biology. Today, we will explore the fascinating world of cell receptors. Receptors play a crucial role in cell signaling and communication, allowing cells to respond to various stimuli and maintain homeostasis. In this lecture, we will delve into the intricate details of different receptor families and their functions. So let's begin. The G protein coupled receptor, GPCR, family, found on the cell surface, plays a critical role in various physiological processes such as sensory perception, hormone signaling, neurotransmission, and immune response. GPCRs, with their seven transmembrane helices, mediate signals by binding to specific ligands, triggering conformational changes and activating associated G proteins. This activation initiates intricate intracellular signaling pathways. The specificity of ligand receptor interactions enables precise cellular responses, while desensitization and internalization mechanisms ensure appropriate regulation and termination of signaling. Receptor-mediated endocytosis is a process that allows cells to take in specific molecules from the outside. It starts with ligands binding to receptors, which leads to the formation of clathrin-coated vesicles. These vesicles then detach from the cell surface and merge with early endosomes, where the ligands and receptors can be recycled or degraded. This process also helps internalize signaling molecules, pathogens, and toxins. Chimeric receptors are engineered receptor constructs that combine different receptor domains or subunits. They have provided insights, such as in cancer immunotherapy, where chimeric antigen receptors, CARs, combining antibody binding and T-cell receptor domains enable targeted immune response against cancer cells. Chimeric receptors have also been used in other receptor families for studying ligand specificity and signaling pathways. Receptor heterodimerization involves the formation of functional receptor complexes with two different receptor subunits. This process is seen in various receptor families, such as GPCRs and receptor tyrosine kinases. It expands ligand recognition and modifies signaling properties, leading to altered ligand binding, changes in signaling pathways, and fine-tuning of cellular responses. For example, Dopamine D1 and D2 receptors can form heterodimers with unique signaling properties, impacting motor control, reward systems, and cognition. Receptor heterodimerization is a fascinating area of research that unravels the intricate receptor signaling networks. Cell adhesion is a complex process involving the binding of receptors to ligands, allowing cells to interact and adhere to each other or the extracellular matrix. Integrins, cadherins, and selectins are important receptor families involved in this process. Their functions range from providing mechanical support and transmitting signals to mediating cell-cell adhesion and immune cell recruitment. Chemosensory receptors are specialized receptors that detect chemical stimuli. In the olfactory system, olfactory receptors bind odorant molecules to perceive smells. Taste receptors on the tongue and oral mucosa recognize different tastes. These receptors help organisms detect potential dangers or benefits in their environment. TLRs play a vital role in innate immunity by recognizing pathogens and initiating inflammatory responses. They detect components of pathogens and activate signaling pathways to produce immune mediators. Dysregulation of TLR signaling can contribute to chronic inflammatory diseases and autoimmune disorders. Potential therapeutic targets can be identified by studying TLR signaling. Nuclear receptors are key protein regulators involved in gene expression. They activate specific genes upon binding to certain molecules, helping control developmental processes, metabolism, reproduction, and immunity. Dysregulation of these receptors can contribute to diseases like cancer, metabolic disorders, and infertility. They are potential targets for therapies. Receptor-mediated viral entry involves the interaction between viral surface proteins and specific cell surface receptors, enabling the entry of viruses into host cells. This process is essential for viral infection and can determine host range and tissue tropism. Different viruses utilize various receptors to gain entry into host cells. For example, the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, uses the CD4 receptor and co-receptors, such as CCR5 or CXCR4, to infect immune cells. The binding of the viral envelope protein, GP120, to these receptors triggers conformational changes, enabling fusion of the viral and host cell membranes. Understanding the receptor-mediated entry of viruses provides insights into viral pathogenesis, antiviral drug development, and potential targets for therapeutic intervention. Integrins are a family of cell adhesion receptors that play a crucial role in cell-cell and cell matrix interactions. These heterodimeric receptors consist of alpha and beta subunits, which combine to form specific integrin heterodimers with distinct ligand binding specificities. Integrins mediate cell adhesion and signaling events by binding to extracellular matrix proteins, such as fibronectin, collagen, and laminin. 
Through bidirectional signaling, integrins transmit mechanical and biochemical signals across the plasma membrane, influencing cell behavior, migration, proliferation, and differentiation. Aberrant integrin signaling has been implicated in various diseases, including cancer, cardiovascular disorders, and autoimmune diseases. Therefore, understanding the intricacies of integrin function is crucial for developing targeted therapies and interventions. Receptor clustering refers to the aggregation of receptors on the cell surface, resulting in the formation of higher order structures. This clustering can occur through various mechanisms, including ligand induced aggregation, receptor association with scaffolding proteins, or lipid rafts. Receptor clustering enhances receptor signaling efficiency by promoting interactions between signaling molecules and amplifying downstream signaling cascades. It also allows for cooperative effects and crosstalk between different signaling pathways. For example, receptor tyrosine kinases, RTKs, often form clusters upon ligand binding, leading to the activation of downstream signaling cascades and promoting cellular responses, such as proliferation, differentiation, and survival. Understanding receptor clustering provides insights into the spatial and temporal regulation of signaling events and their impact on cellular processes. Non-canonical receptor signaling pathways occur alongside classical pathways, adding complexity to cell signaling. GPCRs can activate beta-restin-dependent pathways in addition to G-protein-dependent pathways, leading to unique cellular responses. Receptor tyrosine kinases can also activate non-canonical pathways like the peak act pathway, which aids in cell survival and proliferation. Understanding these pathways can aid in developing new therapeutics. In conclusion, receptors are crucial for cellular communication and regulation. Understanding receptor families like GPCRs, nuclear receptors, and integrin sheds light on essential biological processes and potential disease therapies. We discuss diverse receptor functions, such as endocytosis and viral entry, as well as non-canonical signaling pathways. Receptors are vital for both physiology and therapeutics, so embrace their complexity in your studies.